Since the start of this year, one of the most popular questions I get on the channel is that first, what exactly is the difference between fine tuning and retrieval augmented generation? And more importantly, when to use which one, what could be the use cases and how to decide if fine tuning would work here or if rag would be the better option. In this video, I am going to give you first a very simple difference explanation between fine tuning and drag and then i will offer my humble opinion as which one to use in which scenario first and foremost fine tuning and drag which stands for retrieval augmented generation are two different approaches for enhancing the capabilities of llms particularly when you are trying to give it more information first let's see what is fine tuning Fine tuning involves taking a pre trained base model and adapting it to a specific task or data set with additional training. So, in fine tuning, you are primarily changing the weights of the model or the way model works. The pre trained model has already learned a broad understanding of its training data. By fine tuning, you adjust the weights of the model slightly using a smaller task specify specific data set this process allows the model to transfer the general knowledge it has gained during the pre-training to the particular nuances of the new task or data set fine tuning is widely used in applications where the task specific data might be relatively small and training a model from scratch would be impractical inefficient or very costly so this is what fine tuning is now let's see what is RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. RAG is a technique that combines the strength of pre-trained language models with an external knowledge retrieval component. When generating a response, the RAG model first retrieves relative documents or pieces of information from a large database or knowledge base. It then uses this retrieved information to guide the generation process, effectively augmenting the language model's capabilities with external knowledge. This approach is particularly useful for tasks where the model needs to generate responses or content based on fact, data or information that was not present in its original training dataset. Now, let me give you a few more examples in other words about the difference between fine tuning and RAG and especially when you need to use which one. I would say that fine tune when you need your model to understand some specific domain such as legal, medical, sales, marketing or even you know a broader domain and then teach it how to respond better. Maybe you need to teach it to become a um, statistician or if you want to become a clean you know physical uh, clinician or doctor or lawyer or stuff like that and then rag is when you need to give your model grounded data and context which may frequently change so fine tune it changes how the medical how the model fundamentally operates rag it gives it more more knowledge or external knowledge now Another difference or another way of looking at it is that you can see that you have, are hiring two different people and you don't want to uh, pay them a lot. So this is where what you have, but they should be performing differently. Now in another way of looking at it is that they are potentially complementary things fine tune a model on such as legal domain and then you can teach it more um, legal terms by fine tuning and then maybe you can use rag to give it information about different cases of a diff of a particular geographical location and then another thing could be that fine tuning doesn't necessarily add knowledge to the model this is main thing to remember it just gives it exposure to a new domain and then a specific domain. If you want the model to retrieve bits of knowledge from some documents, 
you need to do the rag now think about this as a final example you can uh, you want so you have a company which deals with legal data and you have your own company's documentation stored in such as databases or let's say jira or confluence and then you have this pre-trained base model such as mistral first you would fine tune the mistral on a generic legal documents once that that is fine tuning but if you want to provide it your own company specific data which no one else has but you just want to complement or augment the prompt generated by people with your own data you use the rag so primarily you are adding more knowledge to the model with the help of rag now some people are even saying that fine tuning was being used last year because it is expensive it takes time and now it's this year and maybe in the future it will be more about rag because you don't have to you know worry about the context sizes because the models have larger context sizes now and we can even just pull a lot of information through rag from databases and other data sources and show it into the model and that is quick easy and you don't have to really worry about your model that much because even adjusting the weights of the model it takes time so that's it guys i hope that it made sense if you still have any confusions or any issues or if you think there are better definitions please share them in the comments as this is all learning exercise thanks for watching let me know what do you think about it and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching